Daddy's little girl lost and devastated without her father. It's how Michael Jackson's daughter's being described by their personal chef during her testimony in the Michael Jackson wrongful death trial. A confused teenager who has refused to have any more birthday parties since her father died and even apparently attempted to commit suicide earlier this month. Our next guest has known the Jackson family for years. Ramon Bain is a former Jackson family spokesperson. Ramon, I gotta ask you, you know, you've known the family for years. Were you surprised by this? I was uh, paralyzed, as uh, most people in the country, having been Michael Jackson's spokesperson and general manager. I've been around uh, Paris for a long time. Michael introduced me to her in 2002, and I believe she was four. She was very articulate, very personable, very courteous. She was the apple of her father's eye, and he was the apple of her eye. I observe um, Michael in Paris. He, he looked at her as his little princess. So you know, with what she has had to go through all of these years, people don't realize that she was there with Michael 24 hours a day. She was homeschooled, and you know, she was the closest thing to him. She prints and blanket. So it has been a tremendous shock to this little baby. I call her baby because she is. She's only 15. And I must admit, yesterday I received hundreds of calls from those who had worked for Michael Jackson, as far as people as from as far out as the Middle East, Japan, who were all concerned and wanted me to share with the Jackson family and with Paris that they love her. She is not alone and we are wishing her the best. Her father talked to me for hours about his plans for her and her siblings. And let me tell you something, I want her to know that her father thought a lot about what she would do in the future. He had great plans for her and I want her to know that he looked at her as another Angelina Jolie, uh, Audrey Hepburn. He looked at Paris as someone who would carry his mantle philanthropically worldwide and I want her to know that she is not alone out here in her father's spirit and all of us who have been uh, working for him for years are holding her up uh, right. for whatever reason uh, this happened, she can overcome it. Do you know any signs of anything like depression that she's been battling over the last few years? Well, I have not. I have spoken to members of the Jackson family. I must admit, I have not seen Paris since her father's funeral. Um, I have been in close communications with uh, her grandmother, uh, on occasions, her grandfather and her aunts or uncles. And um, I have not been advised that there has been any depression, but I tell you what, um, Michael Jackson passed in June of 2009, my mother, several months later. That was a traumatic uh, circumstance for me at my age. And so you think about Paris, who was there with her father all over the world, uh, sitting with him, uh, talking about him and his life and his career. As a little child, we would go into uh, Asia and Australia and Ireland, and Michael loved books and reading. And in those bookstores, they would have CDs, and so Paris, would make Michael buy his CDs, if you can believe it. She is his number one fan. There is not a number one fan in Asia or Europe. Uh, Paris Jackson is the number one fan. Can you imagine the King of Pop being in a record store or bookstore and his little girl, at the time, six, seven, eight years old, coming with a stack of thrillers and Michael Jackson histories one, two, and three, and Michael would say to her, Listen, Paris, we have those CDs at home. I'm not going to buy my own CDs. And, you know, as a little kid, she would um, say, well, Daddy, I don't see anything in yeah. here. I won't. You are my favorite mm -hmm. performer. So I want your CD. And mm -hmm. we would end up buying 
Michael CDs and, and videos everywhere we went around the world. That's the kind of love right. and admiration she had for her father. So for no. him to be taken out as he was unexpectedly at 50, she was there with him. She right. saw what we've been hearing about, the horrible facts of deterioration. That little girl and her brothers were there to see that. She so you can a... imagine the kind of shock that she experienced and why she is going through what she's going through she right now. Through. As I traveled all over the world with them, she became very protective of her father. Many of us in the Michael Jackson company yesterday discussed whether or not she felt some responsibility as to whether it was something she probably could have done to protect her father even more. And our prayers go out to her and the Jackson family because this is never to hear about a suicide attempt or bullying or any of those things that it's never good news to hear but I'd like her to know that her father loved her very much she has an extended family and here was a little girl who adored her father uh, losing her dad and being thrust into a whole new environment here is a baby along with her two brothers who were homeschooled they were around their father 24 hours a day even though there were sufficient housekeepers nannies tutors michael jackson was an excellent hands-on father and he spent his entire life protecting her and her brothers and for him to have gone the way he did unexpectedly I'm still in shock. Those people who were around him and his employees and consultants are shocked. Mm -hmm. So and can you imagine if we are, what a little 15 year old would, would feel like right now? Does she have the support she needs, Ramon? Who is taking care of her? Who are the people who are rallying around her at this time? Well, her entire family and her extended family, and I tell you something, her grandmother, Katherine Jackson, and her granddad, and her, mm -hmm. and her her aunts and uncles they care about her Car Catherine Jackson has so much love for these kids I sat down with Mrs. Jackson a couple of years ago and when she talked about Paris Prince and Blanket she talked about them as if they were her own children All right. she had yeah. the same kind of uh, love and admiration and desires as their father had Ramon, for them. Ramon, we're gonna... Ramon Bain, thank you so much for helping. Thank you for Ray, having please. me. Let me just read a statement uh, from Katherine Jackson. This is what it says. It says, being a sensitive 15-year-old is difficult no matter who you are. It's especially difficult when you lose the person closest to you. Paris is physically fine and getting appropriate medical attention. Please respect her privacy and the family's privacy.